Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? Mona from My Limit Is Me here and uh, this is the tenth time I'm trying to record this I think. It's not being my day so uh, <laughs> you'll have to bear with me if it sounds rushed. Um, but yeah, I've got some background noises coming and going for some reason and um, <laughs> It's uh, it's not being uh, easy to get this uh, in one in one take, but um, we'll try again. <laughs> uh, I'm drawing out the layout for next week's weekly, and uh, I'm going back to doing one column a day. The reason for that is, uh, although I like what I've done these two two weeks, last week and this week, um, it does bother me a little bit not being able to. Uh, note down things I know like for example just say I get an appointment for Thursday on Tuesday uh, yeah I can note it down on the left margin but th there's something uh, I don't know how to explain it. it just bothers me not being able to put it down on its proper day uh, so it feels like migrating tasks within the same spread and that's not very very natural I don't know I just uh, going back to this for for some reason and uh, next week is my birthday, so um, I made a birthday themed kit for my bullet journal with the birthday penguins, obviously, and the same color scheme that my penguins normally have, uh, which means they're going to be bright and pastel colors all over the spread. And uh, I don't mind. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I don't mind at all. Um, so, so, yeah. I actually wasn't sure if I would make it uh, to my uh, well, the deadline I've set for myself to upload every Wednesday at least uh, because I had a little bit setback on my Etsy shop which actually stressed me out a little bit because they have this they are required by law to um, uh, um, how should I put it to get the uh, personal ID of everyone uh, using their service uh, which is for accounting purposes of course and I understand that so um, I got an email uh, reminding me that I had to update that and um, funny story in Norway we have a driving license or used to have I don't think it's like that anymore but it doesn't have an expiration date if that makes any sense <laughs> so it didn't qualify it as a valid ID uh, without the um, image of the backside, which was something I didn't think about at all. And what they do is when they get uh, an ID that is not what they uh, think is valid, they just close your account. Um, obviously not permanently uh, and the shop is still visible. But I uh, couldn't get any orders in at all because the payment service was um, deactivated. So, and I googled a lot about it because they don't have a contact phone. So um, uh, I sent them an email, two or three times different contact uh, emails. And I googled a lot about similar issues that others have. And it happens to a lot of people and it's not strange and I get the uh, the um, process itself because it's something they are required to do. But uh, not being able to get a response immediately and seeing how others had to wait weeks before they got an answer before the summer. And that's probably because of um, the whole uh, pandemic. Uh, I'm assuming they had more issues, less personnel, I don't know. But um, th the problem is when people have issues, they comment on it straight away. But if they get a solution to it, they normally don't bother to come back and say what happened. So the only thing I could find was people having troubles and having troubles over time, which meant that I thought that I might have to wait more than the couple of days, which stressed me a little bit out. Uh, <laughs> Luckily, though, I got an answer very quickly and it's all sorted, of course, and, and everything is okay. But not being able to talk to customer service, and I, I work at customer service, so, so I get the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, um, the feeling you have when you can talk to someone over not, you know, sending an email and having to wait for someone on the other end to 
to answer to that. And uh, it's not a back and forth communication uh, in, in that sense. So, so no, I, I actually think they should have a contact form, really, <laughs> uh, for people's peace of mind. But um, yeah, so but it did sort itself out, so it's all good. And uh, this video was filmed already, so I only have to edit it and talk to you guys. And that's pretty much what I'm doing here. So yeah, it's my job to bore you to death, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, here is uh, is a standard left side column with my happy mail tracker, my meals planning, my notes uh, section for this week and next week, um, and this is pretty much it. Uh, I'm using the decorative stickers to know to put down. Um, I put them down <laughs> where I want to, and uh, then I use a half box to mark down. Uh, the day that's my birthday and my better half's guitar lesson and all that and uh, yeah I think this week's payday as well if I don't remember wrong so that's pretty much it and um, I to be honest it, this video is pretty short so I don't know more, uh, what else to tell you about this I'm thinking about doing something different um, in the future I just don't know what yet uh, but we'll see we'll see and uh, yeah uh, I hope you guys like what you see sorry for the rant and uh, hope you guys are staying safe and are all well and leave a comment if there's anything you want to know love to hear from you um, upcoming sale in the shop this week and so if anyone's interested stay tuned links in the description of course and uh, yeah I'll talk to you guys next time have a nice day bye bye